In this video, we're going to show you how to get all the mod 7 downloaded and installed in Minecraft. This is a Minecraft 1.18 mod pack, fully 100% in Minecraft 1.18, and it's got all the mods in it. I mean, not necessarily every mod, but all the great mods for Minecraft 1.18 have made their way into all the mod 7. First and most, though, if you want to start an all the mod 7 server, look no further than Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Start your very own 24-hour, 7-day-a-week modded Minecraft server in just a few clicks. Literally, it's so simple to just click on the mod pack you want and start your server. That's all you do, and boom, you can join it. You just get the IP, join it using your All The Mod 7 like client, and it's it. That's done, right? You're good to go. So you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYC slash Apex to get an All The Mod 7 server up and running. Nevertheless, here we are. We need to download CurseForge. CurseForge is the mod launcher, right? It is basically the app that launches All The Mod 7 with Minecraft. So. What we want to do is go to the second link down below. This is our in-depth tutorial on getting CurseForge. We're going to be going over most of this in the video, but if you do have any questions, this gives you a complete tour of CurseForge once you're in it. Nevertheless, click on the yellow Download CurseForge button to be taken here, where we want to click on the Download for Windows button. When we click on that, the download will begin in the bottom left, right like so. We can minimize our browser, and we need to move this to our desktop. Do that by going to your Downloads folder, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably the bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in Downloads, and here it is, Downloads File Folder, and in there is CurseForge. Drag this to your desktop just for ease of use. Go ahead and double click on this CurseForge installer, and it's going to open up, and you can install this just like any other program. You literally just click Next, and uh, then do you want to create this? Agree to the terms and conditions, and click Next again. You don't want to do this, so make sure this is not clicked there. It's just unneeded, really. And then finally, it will install CurseForge, right like so. It will also install something called Overwolf. Overwolf is the company that owns CurseForge, and you unfortunately need their app in order to run CurseForge, but that is perfectly normal and okay. Overwolf is a very trustworthy company. Nevertheless, we're going to go ahead, and CurseForge should open up automatically when we are finished. But if it doesn't, there will be a desktop icon that we can click on as well. There's the desktop icon. It pops this up saying, congratulations, you've successfully opened up CurseForge and installed it. Awesome stuff. Click on launch there to launch it up and if you don't click on that you can also click on your desktop icon we can delete the installer we downloaded and now curseforge is opening up as you can see it's preparing for first launch preparing for liftoff if you will and once it is open it's super simple to install this mod pack it's going to blow your mind how easy it is to install all the mod 7 once curseforge is open so here it is it is now open and uh, once we're here we're going to go through a tutorial real fast but we don't need any of this i'm just going to skip the intro i'd probably recommend you going through that but once we're here we want to click on minecraft right like so click on this minecraft logo here just make sure standard selected and then click continue. So you're going to install and set up Minecraft, right? Like so. And now what we want to do is click on browse mod packs. Now you could search for all the mods seven in here, but the easiest way is to come up here to the top and just search all the mods seven. Hit enter, and when it refreshes, there it is. All the mods ATM7 1.18.1. Come over here, click on this orange install button, and the installation process will happen. It's going through right now. You can go ahead and click back, click on my mod packs, and here it is. Wait for it to install, and you'll know it's done whenever uh, it's not grayed out and has this over it, or when the play button appears when you hover over it. I'll see you once that happens. So there we go. It's no longer grayed out. There's no longer installation bars on it. All the mod 7 is installed, and when we hover over it, sure enough, there's that play play button. Click the orange play button and all the mod 7 will open up. Now, you will need to log into your Minecraft account, but guess what? That's perfectly fine because once this is installed here, this is updated, you'll notice that this is actually the default Minecraft launcher. This is the Minecraft launcher that everyone is used to using. So, once it's open, you just need to log in like you would any other Minecraft launcher. So, Microsoft login, I'll meet you once we're logged in. After you log in, you may get a warning like this and uh, that's okay if you do. Just go ahead and click cancel and you're good. Now, all the mod 7 is selected here next to the play button. If it's not, click on installations at the top. Here it is, right? You can hover over it, click play. You might want to make sure modded is checked right like so. But at this point, you're good to go. You can also click here and click edit and change your resolution if you would like, as well as do things like add more RAM. So come in here and add more RAM. You shouldn't really need to do this. Most of the time, mod packs have calculated how much RAM they need, and it'll just be there by default, but that is something you can do. Nevertheless, though, hover over this, click play. You're going to have to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft by clicking play again. And now, all the mod 7 is going to open up. As you can see, downloading some things, and then it will open. But you guessed it, more waiting, and that's something you'll see about mod packs. This is going to take a long time to open, though. I would say some people might have to wait half an hour just to get this open the first time. It should be quicker the second, third, fourth, so on times, but it's going to be a while. So I'm just going to sit back, relax, and uh, I'll meet you once we're on the Minecraft main menu, or maybe once 
we're in the launch process, one of the two. So it may look like nothing's happened on my screen, or if anything, the Minecraft launcher's crashed, but that's not what's happened. The download finished and the Minecraft launcher closed itself because Minecraft is opening, and there it is. I just wanted to show you that, and it could take a while there. I was probably on that screen for about a minute before Minecraft actually opened, and that's between the Minecraft launcher closing and Minecraft itself opening. Then we have this white screen, and we're gonna be on this for quite a while as well. There are over 200 mods in this mod pack, so because of that, it's gonna take a while to open. Right, so you gotta sit back, you gotta wait, you gotta be patient, but there we go, it is now opening. Luckily, it's actually pretty fast at this point usually when it gets to this screen, but if it's not for you, that's okay. Also, expect freezes like what you're seeing on your screen right now to occur pretty regularly. And here we are in all the Mod 7. As you can see, we're right here on the main menu. I really like how they've actually made the main menu custom around the All the Mods logo. That's really cool. You can do single player, multiplayer, Patreon, all the stuff that you want to do here, you can do it. But single player is where we're going to start because I feel like that's the easiest place. So we'll just do ATM7. And we want to make sure we jump and do creative because that's what's easier for me. That's what we kind of focus on in this regard. Just getting in game and showing you that it is working. One final jump cut. Meet ya in a world after it's generated. And by the way, things like this are going to occur, not responding. That's part of modern Minecraft. Perfectly normal. Just roll with the punches. Keep going and playing through it. And uh, even if it were to like crash and something like this, that's okay because you can just restart it. And a lot of times the second launch, it will work. It just kind of needed to work out some bugs and kinks and all that stuff. But if you do get stuck on a screen like this, just wait. It will eventually work itself out as it just did for us. So here we are in all the mod seven. Right away, we have this right here, which is an op optic guide. Uh, it's probably spelled that wrong, but that is from one of the mods here. And if we go ahead and hit E, we can see all of the different stuff, over 100 pages in this mod pack. I accidentally closed out of it there because I hit the X instead of the next arrow there, but you know how to get all the mod seven now. We got in game, we showed you the world, and now we're signing off. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy how to get all the mod seven and we helped you out, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more incredible content. I will see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.